Prior to playing UN Squadron, my experience with side-scrolling shooters was primarily Stinger for NES, with a little R-type Gradius and Silver Surfer thrown in for good measure. So when I went to my cousin's house and they popped this cartridge in, you can imagine my mind was sufficiently blown. Not only was the electric guitar soundtrack every kind of invigorating, but the graphics were insane. Between the larger-than-life bosses, the crazy awesome explosion effects, and the occasional destructible environments, this was some seriously next-level stuff. Also, I can never overstate the brilliance of the way the game sidesteps the whole one-hit-kill thing shooters are known for. Having a life bar that only applies if you do not get hit twice consecutively made the difficulty manageable while maintaining the tough-as-nails reputation of the genre. It is honestly as close to scrolling shooter perfection as I've ever seen. I remember playing this game so much that I actually got to the point where I considered beating it easy. That is most certainly not the case today, but you better believe I still enjoy trying. Chris Randazzo I thought Super R-Type was good, but this is even better. Featuring knockout graphics, stunning sound, superlative gameplay, and a tough, tough challenge, UN Squadron is one of the best blasters available on any system. Mean Machines. Thanks for watching.